This is... Wait, we should establish, like, what we want to talk about. What I, are the bullet I, points we need to hit I, here? I, I got it. I got it. Okay, so we tell them that the show is called Do You Want to Make a Podcast? It is a fireside chat between two best friends who are on the hunt to create the perfect podcast. They have a lot of ideas, and they can't decide what they want to talk about. Okay. That's pretty much it. That's it. We that's 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 the synopsis. Like, then we'll then we'll plug the social media. Do we want to do like social media? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So so we'll tell them to follow us at Do You Want to Pod, all spelled out. That's Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. You can also email us at Do You Want to Make a Podcast at Gmail That's it. That works for me. Wait, I think we just did it. We did it. That was my that was my plan all along. Oh, okay. Bye. Bye. Except hello, because now the show's starting. Yes, it is. begun synergy all right we're here yeah yes we are, we are here i i cannot handle how washed out i am <laughs> in this i i realize that it's not a video medium for the most part but i think this is a sign from god that my screens are just too <laughs> damn bright your screens are bright. I myself am quite am quite pasty from not being outside very much. But even when I am outside, I burn like a freaking lobster. It's I'm destined to reflect light no matter what happens. So I'm trying to feel your pain, Jim. That's what I'm trying to say. Well, thank I appreciate that. Let's see if this one I still am I still look like a ghost. Jesus. <laughs> Gotta put some foundation on it. <laughs> God. New to the team, right. makeup artist. That's what you need. Who would have yeah, known? Truly, I don't think I don't. Oh man, being a COVID nine post COVID makeup artist. That like, didn't help. They at must all. have like a pole that is six foot long, and they're trying to do the makeup on people from yeah. six feet away. It's like, I'm sorry. So it's like it's like one of those doggy poop grabbers. They yeah. have that, but at the end of the thing is not poop it's like a little bit of rouge that's a new they're just youtube challenge i'll tell you that you just set a new <laughs> youtube challenge the makeup doggy <laughs> yeah. grabber challenge no the covid19 makeup challenge it's you got boyfriend does my makeup girlfriend does my makeup a b c d e f g does my makeup now we're doing makeup from six feet apart i would love to see that i would do it it's like a claw game like the arcade <laughs> like if you get really yes. inventive you can get robots yeah. to do it uh, before we get too far, uh, we're joined by Taylor Keller today. Hello. Thank you for joining us, Taylor. You're welcome. Oh my God, she's back again. I made the same joke that I made two <laughs> weeks ago. All right. Nice. Nice. <laughs> I, can, I, I could see this becoming a pattern. Indeed. I'm I'm all about patterns. So, you know, I, I love that. I like to create patterns and... That's it. What kind of pattern you got going on right now, Jim? A uh, solid pattern. Nice. So, you know, that's the most basic pattern is no pattern. Mm. Is none at all. Or or consistency, really, is the, <laughs> the that's the first step to creating a pattern is being consistent enough to wear one shade. And then mm. as you move on and manifest a little bit more of your destiny, you can then, you know, wear multiple shades that are similar uh, and then, you know, get really crazy with, you know, your Argyles and your uh, mm. Paisleys and, and all the other patterns in your life. And then when you've incorporated so many patterns, it ends up like coming full circle. You're, you mm -hmm. have to reset. So that's where you are right now is you're back to the baseline red. Uh, whereas before you were... You looked like a quite literally a peacock with all oh. the different things you were. It's uh, it's true. You know, I was trying to uh, a attract a mate. Oh, uh, with to with my patterns. You know, I would just go out. Picked and, a like, silly time take... to do that, Jim. We can't. We can't. You, you can't. You know, lure lures the wrong word. Fuck. No, lure is probably right. <laughs> it's probably uh, well, luring. I mean, yeah, I mean, it's the, hard to do I'm that from indoors. I, I actually do, you know, walk around and I take my clothes and I throw them back over my Throw head. It back. And then I go, Wah! Wah! Wow. 
I have never been more attracted to you in my entire life. Yeah, right. See, that's how it, that's how it that's how it goes. <laughs> Not the strangest thing I've heard in these COVID times. Yeah. Wait, did we say do we want to make a podcast? Not not yet. Uh, oh, okay. Do we all want to make a podcast? Actually, yeah, I do. Wow. Who knew? <laughs> Going to take that as a yes. That was a yeah. yes. That was, that was Peacock for yes. All right. Are you, You're fully fluid in Peacock, I would imagine, by this point. I am, yes. Did you use Duolingo? Oh, by the way, when I say I was searching for a mate, I was obviously looking for a peacock mate. Or a peahen, as some call them. Oh. I think that I think that's what they... I don't know. Oh. Definitely not a hen cock. <laughs> Uh-oh. No. Uh-oh. <laughs> There's a dog. Dog attack. She's like, what's up? Where? Oh, look at her. Oh, and she's gone. We oh. touched the butt, and she was like, no, thank you. I did not give you any consent. So that's uh, how that that went down. <laughs> I think if it were up to Joe, this podcast would just be come. Let me see your dog, please. <laughs> mm-hmm. Which probably yep. wouldn't work in the audio medium. No, I mean not really. I mean you know we can get descriptive with it, which is what we always say whenever we talk about visual things in an audio in our audio medium. Mm. My my dog descriptions usually consist of dog. Look at yes. dog. That is dog. That is dog. Very straightforward. And and of that would that could be the name of the podcast. Is dog. <laughs> dog. Is dog. Is dog. Mm-hmm. And then uh, we talk about the dog. And but the descriptions of the dog. It's like we're from another planet. Yeah. And we don't really know. We don't really understand the identifying features of dogs. We just understand that they are dogs. Fur. Makes nose. sense. Like you know. Dog. You know, face blindness, like this is like dog blindness. Like <laughs> okay. we can't identify any identifying features of the dog. It's just is dog or isn't dog. Ah, is it a dog? Now that's a fun game. <laughs> is dog? We played, could play that. Wait a minute. Last no time dog. I was on here, we played is it a vegetable? And now we're playing is it a dog? <laughs> is it a dog? In this COVID time with everyone's hair not being cut, this is America's favorite game. Is dog? Is dog? Or just, da, 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 or just da. unshaved human. <laughs> <laughs> ba, All right, ba, we'll ba, start da. with the, the top left square. We have someone with a pink microphone and purple beats. And the question, is dog? Is dog? I'm going to say... Yes, think very dog. carefully about this, Joseph. <laughs> I'm going dog. to say dog is because... Dog. This person makes me makes me happy like a like like, like a dog would, oh. and they have that lovely smile like dog does. <laughs> I'm also did need I remind you that I'm an alien not from this planet playing this game. I don't know what dog is. Oh. What is dog? What is dog? What is dog? What is dog? Why Can dog? One, why do oh there? Why how dog? dog? How dog? Where how dog? dog? Well, where dog? Dog left. Dog gone. Dog gone. Oh, oh no! How? Doggone! <laughs> doggone! Doggone! So doggone! Doggone! Dog, on, dog is gone with legs, right? That's how dog. Dog with legs. Do you how dog? Do I how dog? Do I how dog? Mm. Do I? Do you how dog? You raise a good point. Mm. <sighs> yes. Okay. I. I. Yeah. Absolutely. Yes. Mm-hmm. Mm. Indeed. <laughs> All right. We- so now we have now we have a a person at the in the, in the bottom screen. Yes. Uh, with a red shirt, glasses, uh, sitting in a black chair, and mm. the question is, dog, dog, question mark, oh, God. or no dog? I'm gonna say yes, dog. Mm. Okay. Furry face. Do you, yeah. Do you care? Do you care to elaborate on why dog? Yeah. Uh, h- hang on, dog. <laughs> Furry face. <laughs> Hang on, dog. <laughs> That'll be a no for me, dog. Yeah. Furry, furry, furry head. Okay. Furry face. Mm-hmm. Uh huh. Uh huh. Dog. Dog. Mm. There you go, I, baby. See, Has I, legs. I get your argument. Has leg. I get your <laughs> argument. <laughs> Has legs. Has neck. Dog. And hair. Dog. Checks. Checks all the boxes. Mm-hmm. All right. Now we have in the top right square. A uh, person who Wait, says like and does everything that I do. Someone else should describe, or someone, someone else. I'm gonna say. So here's what okay. I'm gonna say. I'm gonna say no dog. No dog. 
No dog. No no dog. Hat. Hat. No means dog. No, means no dog. It means no dog. No. Obviously not dog. I like to pee right over here. Mm. That's just unsanitary. Really? Yeah, don't do that. Was there <laughs> a fire no hydrant there? Was there a fire hydrant there? Absolutely. Oh, then maybe dog. Mm, how maybe else, dog. How else would you know it was a fire hydrant? Maybe also crazy person. Crazy person? A stranger. Stranger, which crazy. which we would bark at. Stranger danger? Stranger danger. Woof, woof, woof. Don't, <laughs> do not recognize. Get off my lawn. What are you doing? <laughs> Get off my lawn. Leave on, my I'm house. Just gonna, I'm just going to sniff. Kids. I'm just going to sniff the ground around me. <laughs> No sniff butt. Mm, no, no sniff dog. butt. No sniff butt. You're right. Not not no, dog. No dog. I, no dog. <laughs> Just stranger Fresh danger. Anger. Anger. <laughs> no dog. Cat. Hang on. I'm gonna I'm very gonna throw much so. This. Cat. I'm gonna very throw this. Cat. I'm gonna take this rag in my mouth. Ew. Throw it over here. I'm gonna run and get it. Bring it back in my mouth. Cat. 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 <laughs> very much so. Cat. Cat. We take offense, cat. Makes no, sense. Cat. It's a cat. No cat. Very no, much so cat. No, no. Even cats are offended to be cats. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, clearly, in the musical, in the movie, they had to remind us that cats are not dogs. So clearly, there's a superiority with I kept dogs. Forgetting that cats are not dogs, and thank God, a fourth wall breaking Judy Dench feline creature. Was there to remind me mm-hmm. that cats are not dogs? Are Can you blind really when you're born? <laughs> Do you? Can you see in the something dark? like a link? Because jellical cats are jellical cats. Jellical cats are jellical cats. Jellical cats and jellical cats. Jellical cats and jellical cats. Jellical cats and jellical cats. There's a lot of, for the listeners. There's dancing going on right now. Thank you. Um, I also just want to, you know, put out there my, my. Th- uh, the 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 true story that that song was written by Andrew Lloyd Webber accidentally printing seven copies of the same first page of the <gasps> song, and it just says Jellical Cats, Angelical Cats, Jellical Cats, Angelical Cats, and he ran out of paper, and he was like, "Well, I I guess this is the song. It's over. Sing it." And that's how that came to be. Now it's gonna be stuck. It's in my not head. the worst theory out there. No. Yeah, I mean. It's also there not the best worse, musical. There are worse songs. Name three. I from from name musical three, theater. I could probably name three in that show. Oh. oh. <laughs> uh, McCum, McCum. I hate that one. And when Taylor Swift sang it, yes. I was like, girl, you gotta go. And she was so okay. hyped to be in the movie. Right. She was so hype. And then once it came out, she was like, uh, I never did that. That movie does not exist. And I have no idea what you're talking about. And I think everyone in that movie did that. <laughs> I think the movie gets a bad rap. No, it it gets what it deserves. <laughs> I think it's one of the. I, there's no way I can say this Mm-mm. without sounding like an idiot. But if you take the element of dance out of Cats, which is arguably the best part of the then what? Then what thing, the hell are you doing? <laughs> you're you're left with a visual. Crazy acid trip, which was the movie, and that's why I was okay with it because it was so bad. It was good. It's like just like how Tommy was so's the room is good. It's so bad, and I guess I kind of got confused because all at once our culture was like, "Oh, we don't like things that are bad anymore." Like that's why we watch dumb movies is because they're so bad. And I thought that we could just rally behind that for cats. But well, I guess I was wrong. The dog in the house disagrees with you. I don't know if you can hear him. But yeah, we've he's... said cats too many times. <laughs> he was like, oh, it's a cat. Oh, man. Yeah, no, the minute that music started, I was like, okay. I was. I literally tried. I literally tried to be like, I'm going to go into this with an open mind. And the minute it started, like, the, no, not even the minute, the second, I was like, I hate it. <laughs> I hate every <laughs> single thing about this. So wait, this was, Jim, it was your first experience seeing cats, and it sounds like it was Taylor's first experience seeing and hearing cats. Like, you had not, you had no, no exposure to it at all? So the only production of cats that I saw um, was- Oh, dinner theater. Was at a dinner theater, right. 
at my grandma's house. Wait, there was a private version of cats at your grandma's house? No, I'm sorry. That I was sounds visiting amazing. Visiting my grandma's house, and she took me to this little like it almost looked like a church, like Damn it, like you know church reception hall or something. And she was like so proud. She's like, "This is going to be art. Like this is going to be." The best thing you've ever seen in your life. And I think this This is is Broadway, baby. Yeah. In Scranton, Pennsylvania. And this is when I started to get into theater and like, you know, want to pursue it. And so I was like, okay, like, yes, I'm so excited. I love theater. So we go to this production and we're all sitting at these round tables, like huge round tables in this hall. And the show starts and like cats are popping out of the stage and like, you know, doing cat things. And then all of a sudden, like as they're doing that in little overture, a cat pops out from underneath our table and this woman at our table screamed. She'd scream a bloody murder. And I was like, holy shit, that human being has been under the table this entire time. And I, like, I just couldn't believe it. Yeah, it was that's... the worst thing I've ever seen. I felt so like, I don't know, uncomfortable. And then like the one, like the one song where the one cat no it was like the ending and they like had the one cat spinning and like another one was just staring at me the entire time and i was like i hate this i hate it so much so (laughs) i wonder if that's like the equivalent of being cast as a tree like the director was like (laughs) okay now these five folks you're not going to be on stage you're not going to sing you're going to be table cats your job's very important you're going to hide under the tables and you're going to eat these scraps and you're just going to like rub up against people's uh, ankles mm. and that's it you're there you're here to set the tone but you know what i feel like cats the musical is what like when you take an acting class and they're like okay we're gonna pretend to be this and like i feel like that's just what cats is and i literally hated those exercises i was like if i ever play something that is not a human being i need to go like i need to see my way out and just be like no thanks when i was uh an eighth grade young boy. I t- I, have I mentioned this on the podcast that I played a green cat? I don't know Utah? anymore. <gasps> green cat named together. Asparagus. Yeah. I need to see pictures. Not, But not Gus the theater cat. Like They just gave me <laughs> a name so that I would pay the money to be in this summer program. It was all a money grab. The director, like uh, he quite literally made us get on all fours in a giant circle and just would <laughs> shout repeatedly, act like a cat, act like a cat. (laughs) And it was one of the worst experiences of my life. And my dad still laughs about it and will randomly go, act like a cat. (laughs) When in (laughs) doubt. Just out of nowhere. Act like a cat. So I just imagine that everyone who has ever been in a production of Cats was basically heckled. Probably told that at some point. (laughs) The director's like, yeah, you you know, if it was just a little more cat-like, that would be great. Yeah, if if only. (laughs) I like I I know a couple of people who I know one alumni from Penn State was in the national tour of cats and I know some people who really love cats and they're like so about it but like there would be a moment if I was ever cast in that show which I would never be in because I'm not a dancer that I would be like what am I doing is this worth it am I sane because when you I don't know if you've ever seen the filmed live on Broadway or the West End or whatever there's like a DVD version of it but like they are into it and I'm sorry maybe I'm just not not that kind of actor but like i that's the one thing that i'd be like nope can't do it you haven't you haven't drank well i can't drink the pool i can't drink the kool-aid the milk eating the milk the catnip (laughs) drink the milk yeah nope can't do Uh, it yeah is this is this this is not the perfect podcast i feel like we've intentionally taken the opposite (laughs) road today no we we spent a lot of time on cats we spent much more time on cats than i had budgeted for this episode or any episode really (laughs) because we've already we've already talked too much about cats i i don't think we've ever instituted a no fly zone (laughs) on this show but i think today no more cats we've learned a valuable lesson is we just don't We've no cats. No, no cats. No cats, period. No cats allowed. Well, I'm glad that I was here that you guys could discover what the perfect podcast was not. Yeah, which really, though. <laughs> which, I mean, we do, honestly, by the process of elimination, we'll get it eventually. <laughs> it puts us that much closer. Yeah. Yeah. I think it does further the theory that just staring at Jenna Rose's dog is the perfect podcast. Audio medium be damned. Mm. Yeah. And just be like, oh, so, so good. This yes, is a good yes, dog. dog. Yes, her dog. No, to cat. yeah, checks out. Tracy, Tracy, we miss you, Tracy. 
And I, only Tracy, not Jenna. Ooh. Just kidding, Jenna. We love you too. <laughs> I really did leave that recording being like, it's all downhill from here. I, <laughs> I wow. really don't want to make what the show else anymore. What is the point? I, what is the point of anything? I was, I'm also super depressed because of COVID, but like that doesn't help. <laughs> it didn't help things that I had to leave that dog forever and not snuggle it. Mm. Uh, one day. One day. One day I will, I will dog. Too bad your cat. Ugh. Why? Because you are. I. I listen. <sighs> Look, she. I somehow make the brought rules. this on all of us. I didn't, right. I didn't real. Didn't realize it. You wore a hat. That's that's just, your fault. I just keep. I just keep licking. Oh myself. God, it's cat. Oh, stop. Can you take your cat? I'm not in trying elsewhere? to be a cat. Just hang on. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm not a cat. That's something a cat would say. It is. I am not a cat. I don't say meow. Oh. Bitch, I'm a cat. Doja Cat, which, how is she not a cat if her name is Doja? That's the paradox of Doja Cat, isn't it? Mm. That she says she's not a cat when she's clearly a cat. Now she's releasing bops after bops now. Like, she's, I don't know if she's up and coming or if she has came and she's here now. Jim, are you are you familiar with the sensation that is Doja Cat? No, I have no idea what we're talking about. Oh. Like, zero. You've never heard the masterpiece, bitch. I'm a cow. I got bitch. Send I'm a this cow. Yeah. Yep. I mean. Oh my god. Or if it's sorry. True. If it's true, let it be true, baby. Here, I'm gonna I'm gonna put this in the in the chat. I would like to uh, cut back to the moment after Jim has watched this to get his his initial thoughts on Doja Cat. Oh, I gotta copy this link now. <laughs> you can't just click it. Pace it. No, it's not letting me. What? Weak. He looks it's not going to take long. I think he'll develop an opinion quickly. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Why has there not been reaction videos of people seeing Doja Cat for the first time? There probably is. If you look up the Frying Brothers on YouTube, there's probably. <gasps> oh this my is god! My new favorite thing: watching Jim watch awful videos. Because <laughs> you can see it in the glasses, you can see the reflection. <laughs> so I know what party's at. <laughs> She's gonna re-release it, and it's gonna go gold. It's gonna be great. Yes, okay. I, okay, I'm done watching that now. Okay, so now, uh, now I that- will say, I will say, the first recommendation for me uh, under that video is uh, a Fine Brothers video of adults reacting to Bench I'm a Cow. What did I tell oh, you? Nice. What did I tell you? I'm glad to hear that. So, Jim, now that you've been exposed to Doja Cat, what cat would she play in Cats? Mm. Uh, she's a Grizabella for sure. Mm. <laughs> she's she's glamorous as hell. Yes. You know, I realize how silly I was for asking a question. You're you're right, by the way. She's Grizabella. I think we need a version of Cats where every single cat is played by Doja Cat. Okay. It can't be worse than the movie we saw. Wait, 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 wait. There's a YouTuber who did. Um, a whole like Beetlejuice on Broadway by herself. Like she played every character, and she's, mm-hmm. as far as I know, not the best singer ever to exist. And in fact, she's terrible. But she did like Legally Blonde, Beetlejuice, and like it's possible if Doja Cat has the time. But she's too busy being a cow. We'll have to call her people. I would watch it. Would you? Oh, I would. Yes. I would, too. I would absolutely watch. I it would watch be- anything with enough wine. Mm. It can't be worse than what we saw. <laughs> but you loved it. I loved it, but it was really bad. Like, oh, okay. I just like it's like when people like so some people slow down on the side of the highway to watch a car crash. I won't do that, but I will watch really bad. <laughs> but he movies. will watch cats again. Yeah, I will watch cats again. I will watch uh, Abraham. No, that that actually was good. Uh, FDR, American Badass. I will watch that again. I will watch Tommy Wiseau's The Room again. These are awful films. Mm. They're really bad, and I'll watch Cats. Okay. Especially right, I can't talk about Cats. Anymore. Can we please talk about anything? Oh my! Have we still been talking about Cats? I yes. I totally lost track of time. <laughs> Can we please talk about anything else? Let's see. We covered cats. We covered dogs. What's what's left? Llamas. Llamas. Well, a lot of llamas. I don't know too much about uh, llamas. Wait, yeah, we've already done llamas. Alpacas. Alpacas. Nah. Rats. Okay. 
Rats. That's about it. That's all I got. <laughs> rats. <laughs> rats. Oh, rats. I mean, Not I can talk ideas. about how I need my my turnip prices in Animal Crossing this week. <gasps> shit. Listen. My turnip. Well, okay. So I don't have the Switch. I have the DS, 3DS. I used to have the regular DS game, too. I never had the GameCube game. But the turnips... Man, I like looked up the code. I'm like, what does this mean? How do I do it? Like, what? And they're like, oh, you need to go on at least twice a day. Ask Reese. I'm like, I do not have time for that. I'm sorry. I don't think. Yeah, it's terrible. I don't think the prices are that good. I, I'm not going to invest. And I don't no, have the time. Not. They're not. It's terrible. I am so upset that I bought turnips this week. But you got to play to win. Yeah. That's the problem. You got to play to win in the stock market. <laughs> But like I like <laughs> stock market. Yes, it's 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 literally Joseph. That's literally what they call it. They call the it the stock, stock market, market because no it works way. exactly like stocks. You buy uh, on Sunday. This girl comes to your town to sell turnips. It's a little hot. <laughs> yes, it's it's a little hot. In the new one, it's it's that hogs warthogs. <gasps> granddaughter oh and she has a little drip of snot dripping from her nose I every can't. day she's very cute her name is daisy may mm. she's great but you buy turnips from her around 100 bells they're they're usually priced around 100 bells a piece mm-hmm. and then you go to the store every day and you say hey how much are you buying turnips for and the prices will vary to my prices all week have been below 100 bells so it's not worth selling Meantime, some other people, their prices go up to like 500 bells. Yeah. And if you do that, then you 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 get like mad money. Have you tried dollar bell averaging? I know. Well, Jim, there's it's like no. dollar cost averaging, but bells. There's a site that is like I think it's called Nookazon and like people yes, post oh, Okay. Like, there, there's Nookazon, there's there's the Turnip Exchange. Okay. Uh, there's Guys, all kinds of this... stuff, but I don't. I haven't had time this week. I've just said all I've had the time to do is check my price, and I'm like, if you this goes are... over 150 bells, <laughs> I'll sell. Right. Guys, and it hasn't. Oh, have you it not... hasn't broken 100. <laughs> I bought these turnips at 101 bells a piece, and it hasn't gone over 100. <laughs> it hasn't even broken 80 all so, week. It's wait a minute. Bullshit. Are you this buying, game is you're buying individual vegetables? Like you gotta buy index vegetables. You gotta buy big, varied baskets of vegetables. Joseph, so you have a I have four hundred thousand turnips to sell. And I mean, you're you're turnip heavy, Jim. Why have oh, you don't, put so don't much worry. into turnips? I have I have fruit trees growing up my butt. I have all kinds <laughs> oh. of fruit trees. I got pear trees. Is, I got orange trees. Yeah. I got apple trees. I got cherry trees. Those all sell for five hundred bells a piece every day, though. And they never go bad. They never go bad. Fruits don't go turnips, bad. Turnips. Turnips expire. Turnips go bad on Sunday, baby. <laughs> I gotta sell these things tomorrow. Mm-hmm. These things gotta be priced to sell. Tell them. But so I'm trying you- to make a profit here. <laughs> but it sounds like you have a diversified portfolio with but these other But you don't trees. understand. Those prices don't adjust. I can't play to win. It's a fixed rate? It's a fixed rate for the fruits. Only so the, the turnips are your, vary. So the fruits are like essentially a money market and your turnips are like common stock? Yes. Where oh. are the mutual funds? Where are the index funds? I'm not hearing any about that. That's that's the fake art. <laughs> the fake art? Yes, there's fake oh, art. Oh yes, that's right. Yes. You can you From can red. you can buy you can buy paintings and stuff, and you can donate them to the museum. Mm-hmm. But if you but if you buy a fake, the guy who sells them sells fakes. And if you buy a fake, then you're shit out of luck. You can't donate it to the museum or anything. How is how is that an index fund? It's not. I just wanted to <laughs> okay. mention it. Still interesting. I'm I'm glad the to know about it. Politics of Animal Crossing. I'm ready so, for it. So, so this is a stock market without index vegetables ah that does not sound like a system i would i would want to buy into personally oh i I don't want any i don't envy i got i got terms for days i want none of your turnips turnips. no no i'm investing in the s p 500 candy fund which you can get candy on animals crossing like that's a thing like you know on easter they gave out candy 
Yeah. Well, this is this is my game that I call Alien Crossing. It's oh, not well, no one likes Crossing. that one. And in our stock market, we have index funds. <laughs> Someone's a little bitter because he doesn't have. Joseph thinks he's so cool because <laughs> he knows real money terms. <laughs> and he doesn't like fun, like Animal Crossing. Ooh. To me, losing money on turnips doesn't sound very fun. No, but you know what is fun? It's not. Sorry, too soon? Was that too soon? <laughs> you know what? But you know what is fun? Visiting your aunt eater boyfriend's house and he's going to tell you how he's been sweating all day and he needs a workout buddy and he's kind of implying that you should be his workout buddy but you don't really have time to visit him every day but he's like real cute and he's got like it's antonio oh yep he's my little oh, aunt eater if that was like like it like a metaphorical shot at me taylor or no antonio if that was like legit he's my little aunt eater boyfriend oh yeah is this, are you just trying to like are you just trying to make me jealous with Antonio? Why would I make you jealous? What? Why would you be jealous of Antonio? I don't know. Why Why would you do that? Uh, what does Antonio offer that I don't offer? He gives me gifts occasionally. I give you gifts. When? Uh, For your birthday. I gave you a gift on your birthday. Antonio just gives me gifts because. And then he says, wow, you're looking good. Did you go for a run this morning? And I'm like, wow, Antonio, thank I've, you for noticing. I've definitely given you a compliment and then, at least once in our relationship but you know i do have Jim, to say you walked away but i'm being shown up by an anteater apparently he's really cute oh my god antonio's a good guy man look at he's got a little suit okay. and i'm not <gasps> oh my god i love antonio okay. no, no, granted you. he does have that over me i've i've, I've right. never worn a suit here we go i'm checking my turnip prices <laughs> right now actually because i haven't checked them yet this after for for my afternoon price can you Let's put a see. limit order on this or no Current price for turnips is place 53 limit orders. bills per turnip. <laughs> oh, no. You bought them at what? I bought them at like 102 or 101. <gasps> Jesus. And there's no, you can't play, and you can't set limit orders. I don't. So a limit order is saying if a turnip reaches like 104 no, bells, no, you sell X that. amount. No, you can't This This stock market sucks. Well, you can, you only have trade one options? week. Can you trade I options can go, on these? I, I can. I can go to like. Well, I can go to someone else's island who's buying turnips for a higher price, but then I have to. That requires a lot of effort on my part. <laughs> Does the equivalent of Fidelity or Vanguard exist in this world? Can no. you just pay people to take care? Oh well, man! Honestly, this is rough. honestly, it probably like this is. <laughs> you don't understand the economy of Animal Crossing has like it's fucked. Forbes has written about it. It's, has it tanked along with crazy. our own? No. No, if anything, it's exploded. <laughs> Animal Crossing, Animal Crossing, in like three weeks, Animal Crossing became like the seventh most purchased game ever on the Switch. Like, oh, oh, you're talking about sales. I, I well, talking no, about well, I'm talking about sales, within. but I'm talking about just because of that many sales and how many people are playing, like, the economy is crazy. And people will, people will pay crazy amounts of money for the opportunity to like recruit certain villagers to oh, yes. their village. Like real money. If there was it's ever evidence crazy. that I'm living in a simulation, this is Well, it. it's kind of like The Sims, but with animals. And the animals kind of are more independent than Sims. Like, you know, at least you, your villager doesn't have to pee every five minutes. Like it's a little bit, I think it's a little bit more fun than Sims. Sometimes they sing songs. <gasps> Sometimes. That's why I want the Switch, because they're a little bit like the villagers are more expressive, because it's yeah, so they're, cute. they're smart. And these animals don't pee ever? Oh, no, you you can you can shit <laughs> in this game. Oh, yeah, that's right. There's like, di like dinosaur shit. But not pee. Uh, you, they just shit. Well, uh, there is a, um, they call it a standing toilet, but it's essentially a urinal item. I have a toilet. I had one. I had one fall out of a tree actually once. Toilets grow on trees in this. No, Toilets no, no. can fall out of trees. They just like what? put them in there. What? If I wasn't attached to the microphone, I'd spin my chair around and go, "What is happening?" And then sometimes you can get furniture made out of balloons from the sky. It's I can't true. tell if you guys are playing a joke on me or no, not. This is all nonsense everything talk. Everything we're saying is very true. 100% real. Oh. And then what else? I mean, like, if it's a holiday and there's a special character, like, they'll give you special furniture and things. Easter, like, the like the bunny zipper, bunny which day. apparently is... Was terrible. Oh, he's terrifying. Oh, yeah. Yes, he's terrifying and awful. And, like, I didn't realize that, like, you know, on certain hot, like, Christmas or Reindeer Day or whatever they call it, that if you don't get the villagers 
wish list right they like get like you know pissed and it affects your like what you get in return and so like i didn't realize that when i was playing it during that time and they were not happy i did not pay attention to my villagers at all and i regret it i couldn't play the ds version because i play i played it solid for like i think i played it for like a summer essentially yeah and was like and then i was in college at the time and so life got crazy and i was like i'm not playing this right now yeah and I was like, oh, let me come back one day. And literally every villager in the game was like, hey, man, where have you been? <laughs> we miss you. Where have you been? Yeah. Where have you been for the last three months? And it's like, <laughs> college, I, real world. I've been I've been doing things. I got things to do, man. Yeah. They get nasty. I don't even like those villagers. Yeah, they do. They get mean. They're like, don't even get me started. And then anytime <laughs> you want to have like a development project and you're like, oh, let's build this bridge. You got to pay for it and all yourself. Like, it's like, oh, it's a hundred and it's a hundred and sixty eight thousand bells. <sighs> yeah. Great. Okay, cool. Let's all work on this together. And then you go and you talk to Lloyd and he's like, uh, it's requires a hundred and sixty eight thousand bells. It's been four weeks mm-hmm. and everyone else has put in twenty seven bells. <laughs> what would you like to donate? And it's like, you know what, Lloyd, I'll just pay for it myself. Yeah. Thank you. How does one carry a a thousand bells? Are there they is bell an a- shaped well, or, is there, it, or are they there, coins? There is coins. an ATM. There is an ATM. There's an ATM. So, so they're coins. They're just called bells, but they're not the shape of a bell. No. I think they have a bell on them. No, they have a Everything star. I learned about this this game f- oh, frustrates yeah. me more. The bells are not bells. Toilets are falling out of trees, and there's no index funds. And you know what? But like the Ugh. real thing that should piss you off is Tom Nook. Tom Nook's an angel. I don't think saying? so. I disagree. Tom Nook's perfect. Mm. I love him. Hard disagree. He's, he's my guiding light. I just think Tom Nook every time I come in there and I'm like, hey, I want to expand my house. And he goes, hmm, I can't. I think he like laughs. Him and Lyle, the home development project guy, whenever I leave, they're like, haha, what a bitch. She doesn't have money. She doesn't have any money. <laughs> she owes me. She owes me her whole life. Yeah. <laughs> oh. And Lyle's like, I oh, like your so house, but you have 5,000 points and you really need 50,000. So I'll figure that out. And I'm like, wow, thanks, Lyle. But I do like the museum. I gotta say, it, it's very therapeutic to like get a new fish or get like new fossils and donate them. I like, you know, Blathers. Blathers is the best boy. He is the best I love boy. Blathers. I also like Brewster. I just got him recently. He's pretty chill. I, I want to befriend yeah. him more. KK Slider is the best musician he is. of our time. He is. Yes. Now wait. Now I KK. This so is, I, I'm. This, I'm dreaming. This isn't a real conversation. Yes, it is. It's 100 percent real. It, it truly this is. This is like, like I think this is like the equivalent of my little kid brain watching the Teletubbies. Like it sounds, <laughs> if it has the same sort of reaction in my body where I'm just like open mouthed and confused, but it sounds cute. It's very cute. Look like, at my boyfriend. What? Like my little ant eater boyfriend in a suit. I'm, I love that. I, I, I need that. I don't want to go into a wild rage. Please don't send me into a wild rage. Oh. <gasps> He's so cute. Anyway. We'll cough up another hairball. <laughs> anyway, anyway, it's a good game. We've talked about it a lot. Highly uh, recommend. You know, I highly recommend. Uh, if you want, if you, uh, if you listen to this, well, by the time this goes up, my turnips will have gone bad. So, but I'll probably have bought more on Sunday. That's what <laughs> I, Stop I, buying turnips. You, you can't. Know, Joseph, you just, you just don't understand. I truly don't. It looks like a Parents like a lose. Understand. It looks like you're losing money, but you're still buying it. I mean, yeah, buy low, but it just sounds like you're buying high and not selling at all. I tried to get him to play it when we were coming back from a trip to, from New York, and I think he just like took the the um, net and kept hitting the one villager, and I was like, okay, that's enough. You're done. Nice. <laughs> I was like, no, thank you. Nice. That's I wasn't trying fun. to hit the villager. I just didn't know what how to do anything, and that's what ended up happening. Uh, but like in New Leaf, they don't get upset. They're just like they don't even realize it's happening. But I heard in uh, the Switch version, they're like, like, what are you doing? <laughs> I want it. So yeah, they bad. can. They they don't really get upset. I don't think it like actually does anything negative. But right. they'll make like a face. They'll go like. <laughs> <laughs> it's so cute. But if you catch a bug, they'll and they're nearby, they'll clap for you. Yeah. But it's fun to watch them clap because their hands never you you they make the clapping noise, but their hands never actually come together. So they're like <laughs> jerking off to to things in the air. Is that what they're doing? More or less. That's what they do. It's 
<laughs> yeah, Mayor. Get All right. it, Mayor. All right. Well, I think that's a perfect place to wrap up. We're nearing the end of our time. We're nearing the uh, end of time. Death comes for us all. Oh. It does. It does. Happy quarantine. Yeah, you know. Hello, darkness, my old friend. Uh, Taylor Keller, thank you so much for joining thank us. You. Really appreciate you taking Yeah, thanks time. for talking about cats and Animal Crossing. You know what? Nothing else I would rather talk about, to be honest. I could do a whole movie on why I hate cats and Animal Crossing and why I love Animal Crossing. So. Um, in the meantime, uh, Tracy, perfect dog. I'm not saying you should leave Jenna Rose, but I think you should come live with me. Don't, Tracy. He's going to make you watch Cats. No, I'm not. <laughs> no, I'm not. We all know that Tracy would end up running that house so fast, and I would just be like a goo goo ga ga little human vessel just to give her food and pets and cuddles. That's all I want. Tracy. Not trying to steal your dog, Jenna. I just want to have you. Tracy, dog. if you're listening. Run the other way. <laughs> Run. Tracy, if you're listening, hey, what are your turnip prices? <laughs> Tracy, give me your give me your turnip prices. Give me that dodo code. Tracy, if if you if you're listening, I will wait for you. I would walk five hundred miles, five thousand miles, if I could just nope. pet you. Did you just combine two songs or like? Dog. Thousand miles. It's a thousand miles. I don't. I don't know. I think you just combined two songs. I will walk five thousand miles. I know what you're talking about. I know every lyric to every song ever. Five stars. Five hundred miles, and I will walk five hundred. Like, share, subscribe. Don't buy, don't buy turnips. Bite? Dollar it's cost true, average. guys. Don't buy turnips. Find a more just, secure investment. Just, just, just plant just... fruit trees. And cost capture um, um, beetles. It. Beetles sell really well. It's tarantulas in the new game. Ah. Or just buy... Tarantulas or just and buy... scorpions. It depends on what uh, time of the year it is. Gotcha. We just transferred... or, or buy index funds. You know, we could just buy index no, funds. Just Animal go, just crossing. Go, just Animal keep crossing. buying Nook Miles tickets and see if you can get a scorpion island. Animal crossing. Target retirement funds. That's all I'm going to say. Bye, Mom. Bye, Mom. Bye, Mom. I'm just never going back Unless you force me to smoke crack Or do a